This train depot or station does not exist anymore. It was not used for passengers, but for railroad employees. It is called Armor Station because it was a siding for trains heading to the Armor Meatpacking Plant in Kansas City, about 30 or 40 miles to the southeast of this station. This station used to be located near the front entrance of the Lewis and Clark State Park, just south of St. Joseph, Missouri. I used to love driving along <clears throat> Missouri Highway 45 in my youth and enjoy seeing the sights. This station was among my favorites. My dad worked as a fireman for Missouri Pacific Railroad. Missouri Pacific is no longer operating and has been absorbed by other railroads. A fireman would stoke the boilers on the old steam engines. He started work in the mid-1950s when they were still using steam engines. He lost his job in the early 1960s when Missouri Pacific went to diesel engines. I did another painting of the station which I sold. It is a little looser in its composition. The station no longer exists. Here is a photo of how the area looks today. Armor and Swift meatpacking were big businesses in Kansas City in the late 19th century and for most of the 20th century. Kansas City used to be a major hub for processing cattle that had been driven to loading points in Kansas and Oklahoma in the 19th century. The Kansas City stockyards were a major part of Kansas City's economy. Kansas City was not the only city with a stockyard. Here's a photo of the old stockyard building in St. Joseph, Missouri. St. Joseph, Missouri was also home to the old famous Pony Express and the famous outlaw of the West, Jesse James. He was shot and killed in this house in St. Joseph, Missouri. Hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching. Please, well, you know.